All right, everyone, the world is now one lunatic short, proving that only the good die young. Robert Mugabe finally croaks. He made it to 95 years old before managing to go to hell. Now, Satan won't want him, though, because he's, you know, a turd, so he'll, he'll get put up in heaven with the other uh, ty uh, tyranny lovers. Uh, Robert Mugabe was a nut, like in the most literal sense, was nuts. Uh, socialist far left individual. You're not going to hear that from the legacy media. They're not going to say, oh, tyrannical socialist dictator dies. No, they'll just say, well, uh, questionable character dies. One, one time reformist who went a little nutty towards the end of his life dies. Dude almost fucking killed his whole country off because he was a virulent, bitter, left-wing racist dies, but it's okay because he was left-wing. That's it. They'll handle him with kid gloves, sort of like the Nelson Mandela thing. Oh, yeah, necklacing never happened. <laughs> Let's not mention that when he fucking keels over. Uh, Robert Mugabe was insane. He took a country that has plenty of fertile land and, and resources and was doing, at least by the standards of the region, tolerably well and pissed all that away, and then blames the West, blames capitalism, blames the white people. Uh, what he did was he took land from the farming class, which is primarily white, he, he took most of their land away and started giving it to other people. It's like basically land reform. It's literally listed as land reform on Wikipedia if you look it up. Land reform in Zimbabwe. Well, it's not land reform, it's stealing land from people who know how to farm it and giving it to your cronies. He didn't give it to some random you know, individual happens to be a black African because of racial regions, that's, that's just the cover. That was the cover fucking story. The real reason is he wanted his loyalists to have land. Oh yeah, here's your 10 acres, here's your 20 acres. Off of this farm that was 10,000, now we've carved half of it apart and we've given it to people who don't know anything about farming. It's like if I took some random person, it doesn't matter what their race is, it doesn't matter if they have a PhD, it doesn't matter how fucking smart and hard working they are. If I take some doctor, some lawyer with, with 10 PhDs from Manhattan, and I put them out on a 20-acre farm and give them a pile of seeds and a tractor, do you think they can grow me food? Of course not. Not without a huge amount of trial and error. What's the problem? Trial and error doesn't work when your economy has to continuously produce. What he should have done, if he wanted to expropriate it all, and he wanted to do it in a way that wouldn't destroy his economies, he should have paid the farmers to train additional people and then get something going. But Mugabe was never smart enough to do that. That's why he was a socialist. He was just a bitter gas bag, a bitter old man who decided to kill a bunch of people, and he decided to ingratiate himself to the population by giving people free land. That's what it boils down to. He said, look, this tiny minority class, they're responsible for your ills, we're going to take their shit and we're going to give it to you. Haha, ha, it's land reform. It wasn't land reform. Brutal, despicable tyrant. By the way, can you imagine what would happen? If Mugabe's land reform, let's say, had been conducted in Poland, they said, well, this, this group of boyar imports from Southeast Europe for a long time has held all the land in this county, and that's not right because they're not ethnically Polish or something. And they had used race or ethnicity as an excuse to expropriate chunks of land from them and give it to random Polish people who didn't know how to farm. The same thing would happen in the entire world. They, they wouldn't turn a blind eye to it. They would breathe down their neck. They would sanction them so hard you wouldn't believe it. They would say, what are you doing? You're a bunch of, of despicable racists. This is evil. You're not supposed to steal people's stuff. Where's your westernization and your liberty? But Mugabe does it. No, that's okay. I'm very sad about Robert Mugabe dying. No, I'm not sad at all. And, and <laughs> here's another thing. All those people, when John McCain kicked the bucket, and I said, fuck John McCain. Bitter, despicable, tyrannical, fucking boorish warmonger. Oh my god, you're not supposed to say that. Oh, he's dead. Have some respect for his fucking grieving family. Like, like yeah, the grieving families of all the kids that he helped to drum. But with Mugabe, they're not going to defend him, will they? Oh no, ha ha, it's good that he's dead, that commie. Well, it is a good day. Yeah, exactly. It's good when tyrants die. It's also good when tyrants die that happen to be in our government. Fuck them. Or, uh, what was the one that died more recently? Big time, I mean, not, not, not Herbert Walker Bush. He wasn't even so much a warmonger as he was just totally nuts. Uh, John McCain, who was the third one? Who was the other one that died recently that was big into uh, to tyranny and totalitarianism and being a right-wing reactionary fuckwit? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, Robert Mugabe's dead, too. He's one step from communism. A good day for Zimbabwe and a good day for the world. 
And people pretend to cry and whine about it. Like, like basically, as long as Mugabe's cronyistic thugs are still there, they'll pretend to be sad because they don't want to get necklaced or shot in the head or pickaxed Pol Pot style. That's the way it works. And, and unfortunately, what happens in these countries often is someone like Mugabe gets ousted or they die or whatever, and somebody else just comes in who's just as bad. The so-called reformer becomes the new tyrant. That's how it works in a uh, society like that, where you don't have stability. Um, you don't have a, an actual tradition of westernization to, uh, to underpin the civic society. It becomes a problem, uh, a big problem potentially. Yeah. So Mugabe's finally gone, and all, all of his various victims can breathe a sigh of relief until the next tyrant comes along, which is unfortunately what'll happen. That's about all. Peace out.